Over the next 24 hours, I will be traveling from New York City to Sao Paulo, Brazil to see who has the best sandwich. Representing New York is none other than Cat's Deli. Cat's Deli is the oldest deli in all of New York City. And while us New Yorkers may have our own personal favorite bodegas, there is no dispute. All New Yorkers can unanimously agree that Cat's Deli is the best. The criteria we will be judging on for this juicy battle is going to be bread, quality of meat, and price. So let's go to Cats. And here we are, a classic pastrami on rye. I get cheese on mine, sandwich from Cats. Oh my God, it's falling apart. But we're not judging on size, size doesn't matter. What we're judging on is taste. So let's find out. Oh, wow. Mm, so good, so juicy. The meat is a really premium cut. You can see the fat. It is so good. And while in New Yorkers we always get a pastrami sandwich from our local bodegas, the pastrami we get is more like lunch meat pastrami. This is more like a brisket. Honestly, meat, 10 out of 10. The bread is a rye bread. Rye is not my favorite, but this bread, it's actually pretty good. Would be doing an injustice if I got white bread on it. It's soft, fluffy, pretty sure it's made in-house. I'd give it an 8 out of 10. Now finally, we have price. This is where things are going to hurt as this sandwich right here costs $29. And the thing about this store is that they have a system. You have a ticket. If you lose that ticket when you check out, you have to pay a fee of $50. Now, this sandwich is delicious, but at the end of the day, it is still a sandwich. I think $30 is a bit high. So for me, this is more of a special occasion type of situation. Mm. For price, we're giving it a score of a seven. So with those three scores added up, that gives our sandwich a final score of 8.6. I honestly thought it would be higher, but the price definitely tanked it. Unfortunately, it's just a bit too expensive. Now, it's time to take this sandwich on a little trip. Twelve hours later, we've made it with sandwich in tow. Still hanging in there. I don't know if it's good to eat anymore, but uh, it's here. Where we're going today is right behind us, the Mercado Municipal de Sao Paulo. Hopefully I said that right. And inside of there is a little shop called the Mortadela Brasil. All of the Paulistas have told me it's not only the best sandwich in all of Sao Paulo, but in Brazil as well. <laughs> all the other Brazilians, you let me know if that's true. So, they had a few options, but of course we had to go with their main steak, the Mortadela Brasil. It's already looking just as thick as cat's tail. All right, first off is the meat. Seems like we got like a lunch slice meat situation here, so let's give it a try. Go to the brim with bologna and Italian seasoning. Normally I don't like bologna, because in America we have the bologna with the red rim. It tastes disgusting, but this one actually isn't bad. But at the end of the day, it is still bologna and lunch meat. So I'm gonna have to give it an eight out of 10. Now, where I think this sandwich really shines is the bread. Look at this bread. So soft, there's cheese baked in it. 10 out of 10. And finally, the price. The price of this sandwich comes up to 53 reais, which is about $10 USD. Compare that to our $30 sandwich in New York and we have a clear winner when it comes to the price. 10 out of 10 for the price. So I believe with those three added up, this gets a score of 9.3, which means this is the winner. I definitely think they're both different experiences though. Cat's Deli, once in a while, very high quality meats, very expensive. This one, the Mortadela, Brazil, a lot more affordable. It's like an everyday sandwich, but the bread is out of this world. But the real question is, which one would you try? 